so in this session we will continue our legacy of organic named reaction series okay uh, we have uh, already completed a uh, 26 uh, 27 organic named reactions on my youtube channel you can go and check in the playlist okay and now today today we will discuss in this session is a uh, is it just uh, related to the previous reaction co rearrangement that is a uh, anionic oxic co rearrangement okay we are discussing here today anionic oxy co rearrangement so uh, anionic oxy co rearrangement is just a basically a type of a co rearrangement okay you can say this is a basically a type of a type of co rearrangement okay this is just a variety this is just a variety of a co rearrangement okay co rearrangement right so uh, and you can ask uh, why there is a name is anionic oxy so basically there is a OH group is present here and we have taken here is a base also right so base will take proton from this OH and then this OH will be converted into anion okay anion so this O minus will be called as a oxy means anionic oxy we are saying this right so that's why the name is just a name uh, anionic oxy cope rearrangement okay let me erase uh, this all okay the main thing in this reaction is uh, this is a just a variety of a cope rearrangement okay variety of a cope rearrangement this is a variety of a cope rearrangement okay and the more one important thing is you already know that in the cope rearrangement let me see in the cope rearrangement cope rearrangement the reaction condition is a heat right and the heat temperature is a 150 to 150 degrees celsius to 260 degrees celsius but but in this reaction the more interesting thing is in this reaction anionic oxy cope but in the case of anionic oxypo, anionic oxypo, this reaction is happening at at a low temperature. This is more interesting. Low temperature. This is the difference between the co rearrangement and anionic oxypo. Low temperature. This is the condition of an anionic oxypo reaction is a low temperature. Okay, like uh, zero degree Celsius, right? So we are basically uh, this is our substrate, as you all know that this is our substrate here and we are getting a here product here right and this is our region here okay the region and reaction condition is a zero degree celsius because i have already told you that in the anionic oxycope we take a low temperature we take a low temperature okay this is the main uh, feature of the anionic oxycope rearrangement okay and we are taking a uh, uh, mm, we are taking also base here right potassium hydride as a base in the solvent of a THF right that's all so we have a substrate here we have a reason here and we are getting a product here so what is the mechanism of this reaction this is the more important thing see I told you again and again in the in the organic chemistry if you want to be a good then you have to just uh, draw the mechanism okay without mechanism you will never learn something organic okay don't try to don't try to memorize the organic chemistry otherwise then you will be in trouble okay listen very carefully right so now now let's start the mechanism of the this reaction anionic oxyco rearrangement it's just a variety of a co rearrangement that's all nothing so much very difficult that's very easy reaction i will tell you I, I will tell you all the steps in the reaction okay let me erase all this okay fine so we have a substrate here i am taking a substrate again uh substrate something like this right we have here oh and here is a alkyl group r is attached and we have taken here is a base kh okay kh is a base fine right kh is a base zero degree celsius so what happened 
because we know that uh, in the organic chemistry organic chemistry uh, acid base reaction acid base reaction happen fast happen fast okay so uh, we have to check if there is a acidic proton is available in the substrate then you have to must must think about the acid base reaction okay so in the substrate there is a one acidic proton this is an acidic proton because this acidic hydrogen acidic proton is attached to oxygen okay so because oxygen is a more electronegative atom and this hydrogen is attached to more electronegative atom like uh, oxygen here so, so 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 that's why this is an acidic proton um, and also we are taking a base in this reaction uh, potassium hydride so the base will take a proton okay so what happened see here let me erase this so this hydride uh, k plus here is the h minus so this hydride h minus will take a proton this hydrogen and then this bond will get and break on on goes on oxygen and now you will get uh, something like this uh, so here is a o minus and here is a counter anion present k plus right and this is our r group okay so now what happened now it's the most most uh, interesting thing uh, now there is a reaction happening because we have a condition here is a low temperature okay zero degree Celsius we have taken uh, because in this reaction the condition of the reaction is a low temperature so what happened now so just uh, the mechanism of the reaction will be now uh, 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement 3 3 sigma tropic I have told you earlier what is a 3 3 sigma tropic okay just join the 3 3 bond sorry first of all you have to do a numbering and then you have to do the mechanism okay so let's uh, start the numbering so here is a one position here is a two position here is a three position here is a one position here is a two position here is a three position and what does this what does this mean 3 3 3 3 means we have to join the 3 3 bond and to break the 1 1 bond okay I am telling you again and again so 3 3 sigma tropic means 3 3 sigma tropic means uh, means uh, you have to join the 3 3 bond join the 3 3 bond and simultaneously simul simultaneously simultaneously break the 1 1 bond that's all 1 1 bond okay so this is our 1 1 bond this is our 1 1 bond and this is our 3 3 bond just simple what you have to do just to break the bond and you have to join this bond that's all now let's do in the step by step okay see now what happened uh, this double bond will get joined from this this three position will get joined from this position and then this double bond will go to shift on this position and then we know that in the 3 3 sigma tropic 3 3, three bond will get joined and the 1 1 bond will get break so that's why this 1 1 bond will get break and shift on here and now you will get something like this uh, double bond here here is a O minus here is a K plus right and here is a R also present okay and here something like this okay so this is uh, you will get uh, this uh, after this 3 3 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement so basically uh, these are all the steps this is a step like uh, this is attacking on this three position and on the three position and the breaking of the bond one one bond these are all the uh, occurring at the same time right it's a basically a transition state right transition state is happening in this in this step right so what happened now see you will get this okay now just take a h2o just take h2o okay so now you will take h2o so it will be a workup 
then this O minus will convert into OH. Okay. So you will get something like this. Here is the R group. Something like this. Okay. Now what happened? Uh, you have to do uh, just uh, because this is our enol form, right? This is our enol form. So just uh, do tautomerization here. You will get a keto form. Okay. So this is a basically an equilibrium sign. I am showing you in this because there is a no much space here. Okay. Let me show here. Tautomerization. We are doing here tautomerization. Right. And when you do tautomerization, this enol form will be converted into keto form. So you will get something like this product. Uh, something like this. Uh, this is our double bond. Here is the R. And this is our double bond. Okay. And this is our final product of this anionic oxico rearrangement. That's all. It's very easy. Okay. This is our product of this reaction. Right. Final product. Okay. So I hope you all have uh, understood the, all the mechanism, all the steps. Okay. You just to have to. Uh, you should have to know how to do numbering okay in these reactions and uh, and yes uh, also you have to do it you, you have to do a tautomerization also okay right uh, so because uh, that's all about this reaction and one more important thing is one more important thing about this reaction is uh, this reaction is uh, is uh, the reaction condition is uh, at a low temperature okay okay but in the case of a co rearrangement the reaction condition is a high temperature but in this case anionic oxy co rearrangement rearrangement the reaction condition we take here is a low temperature so this is the basic difference between the co rearrangement and anionic oxy co rearrangement that's all i hope you all have understood and if you have understood then please like, share and subscribe my channel, chemistry portal. Okay. So, tap tap me, tata, bye bye. See you soon in the, see you soon in the next episode series of organic name reaction. Thank you for watching my video.